Hello, my name is David LeBand. I'm the chair of the School of Economics in the Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts at Georgia Tech. Fundamentally, economics is the science of human decision making. It's very, very broadly applicable to virtually every aspect of human behavior. It may be simplifying to say that it applies only to business, but in fact it applies much more broadly to uh, virtually every aspect of human behavior. And in that sense, um, the kinds of career opportunities and applications of economics are very, very broad. Ten years after graduation, 50% of mechanical engineering majors are not doing engineering. What are they doing then? Well, the, overwhelmingly, they have made a transition into management in organizations that they're working for. The minor in economics is specifically designed to provide the fundamentals for good decision making. And uh, when you transition in your own long-term career in engineering, decision making is fundamental to virtually everything you're going to do. And so having a paradigm that allows you to separate the good decisions from the bad decisions from a commercial standpoint or an organizational standpoint that you're working in um, makes you, I think, uh, a much more valuable contributor to the organization uh, that you work for or, in fact, if you go on and start your own business, particularly valuable in terms of the kind of decision making that will make you your own success. Students in uh, the discipline of economics uh, learn uh, two really quite significant uh, components to, of, of their learning experience. The first is an overall paradigm for how individuals make the decisions that they make and the basis for those decisions. The second broad area of uh, learning involves uh, quantitative learning. Uh, we're a predictive science, economics is. And so not only can we explain the decisions that people made, we can use uh, information about those individuals in large numbers, and we can predict future behavior. So we have a very quantitative element to the economics uh, courses that we teach, but we also have a theoretical structure which allows us to consider, all right, why do people make the decisions that they do make? In terms of applicable skills that our students walk away with, uh, one in particular jumps out at me, and that is uh, they have a set of quantitative skills uh, that allow them to go to work uh, in contexts where they might be doing demand forecasting for a firm uh, that provides very, very specific information for organizations about how uh, they can predict behavior of individuals and their responses to things like new product entry or new product development. Uh, these quantitative skills are increasingly in very, very big demand by organizations because of the advent of what's known as big data. So we now have enormous opportunities to uh, provide or work with very, very detailed data about m literally millions of people and having the quantitative skills to correctly analyze that data and understand the kinds of decision making that, that people uh, make is incredibly important from an organizational perspective. A minor in economics uh, offers a very, very structured way of uh, transitioning to do graduate work in economics if that would be something that you might consider. Specifically, our, uh, the courses that we require for the minor are the critical components that we would look for in any student that we would admit into our graduate program. The advanced microeconomic theory, advanced macroeconomic theory, and econometrics. And so um, by design, you're getting courses that will be immediately applicable in a graduate program if that's something that you choose to do. And what's so fundamentally attractive about learning a little bit of economics, even just a little bit, is that it gives you a way of thinking about whether the decisions you're making in your life will be good ones for you, both in your career narrowly and in your life more broadly.